Let's go! Woo! Let's go, baby! I am three days sober. And I'm also $20,000 richer. Woo, baby. Let's go, man. YouTube family, what's up? I haven't been posting a lot. I've been busy. I've been busy just sort of like figuring it out. If you didn't know, I just moved out of Hawaii back home. And basically I've had no job no car, no ID. So I've just been trying to like zone in and focus and figure out what to do. But literally, you can't make this up. This whole time I've been smoking and I mentioned in the last video, I was struggling with, with, uh, with edging and I almost gave up my semen retention streak, but I didn't. So I praise and thank Jesus for that. So, you know, I'm just sort of like strategizing, trying to figure it out. I don't have a job. I'm not trying to go work at McDonald's. I, I'm just not doing that. That time, like, if I'm not a teenager, I'm not working no basic nine to five job. So I literally forced myself to make something happen. I was like, I got to make something happen. And literally, you cannot make this up. I stopped smoking weed on Monday. That's another one of the reasons I wasn't making videos because I was just high all day. I was just resting. I was getting situated. I was enjoying the bathroom that I didn't have for about two months back in Hawaii. And, you know, I've just been sort of stranded here, but I was struggling with lust and 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 edging and, and watching like like porn, dating sites, whatever. I was getting distracted. So then when I was running out of this weed, I was like, man. I can't, I gotta, I've been trying to stop this weed for months. I just want to finally stop it because it, it's, it's, if I'm putting my mind, like I'm putting my, I'm putting a goal. I, I set a goal towards something and I'm not achieving it. It's like, hello, <laughs> like, like just stop. So eventually it got to the point where I was just like, I cannot re up again. I cannot like get some more um, of that stupid vape. It's a vape pen, it's Delta 8, Delta 9, whatever you want to call it. But I literally stopped on Monday. And I have since, it's Thursday today, I just made $20,000. And we're gonna tell you, we're gonna tell you how, don't worry, I'm gonna tell you the exact method how you already know it's how you already know how if you've been watching my channel um it's crypto so it, here's the thing though when i was smoking all the time and literally uh, a couple months ago i, I made a huge come up a hundred fifty thousand dollars my portfolio reached and i made a video about it i lost it all because i was high i was smoking and I, I specifically told myself, I looked, I like looked myself in the mirror and I was like, we have to be sober on this run up. You have to. I said that the first time around when I made almost a million two years ago. I said, all right, well, we, we got to stop this whole being high thing. We need to be sober and diligent minded and to be able to focus on this money and be able to take it seriously. But I didn't do that. I smoked it all away, a million dollars. I was too busy smoking. And I just wasn't of the right mindset. Two years go by to last the last two months. And that's when I ran it up to 150,000. And I was like, oh, I'm back. I'm back. But guess what I did? I didn't do what I said I should do, which was stop smoking and focus on, okay, I got 150K, let's cash this out, let's move this, redirect it, let's make it happen. I, I fumbled the bag. Now, was it entirely my fault? Sort of, yeah. Because the whole reason that I fumbled the 150,000 
was literally because of weed. Because I was smoking, I was high, I left my car unlocked. I left my car unlocked because I was high. And I don't, I didn't even remember. I was like, did I lock it or not? But when I went back out, I went back out. So I was like, let me go get some food. And I realized my car had been broken into. It was, they, somebody just unlocked, they just opened the door because I left it unlocked. They stole my wallet. They stole my ID. They stole everything. And so I was literally distracted for the next couple of days. I was almost, I was thinking psychotic, like murderous thoughts. I was like, I'm trying to kill this thief. And my mindset, I was completely uh, distracted. I tried to go to the DMV, get my ID. I, I was just dumbfounded and discombobulated. By the time I got back on the markets, I looked and the, it's down like 100,000 or something like that. I'm just like, bro, it's down. And then it was down ever since. And I was just like, well, I'm not going to cash out. I'm going to wait till it goes back up. And it didn't, it just crashed to the point where, I mean, it's, you could watch the other videos to see a little bit of the story. It, it just went so bad. My car then broke. So my vehicle, that was my other source of income outside of the investing. It was Ubering in Hawaii, like 30, $35 an hour. And so that was gone and my transportation was gone and my bathroom was broke. So I needed my car just to use the bathroom and I wasn't able to anymore. So I just had to, I just had to call it quits. I had to jump ship. I was like, this Hawaii journey's over. It's over. I got to go back home. And so now I'm back home. I was a little bit distracted when I first got here, like just like getting on the dating sites and, and, and fapping and, but I didn't release my seed. Thank God, I'm almost at 150 days of semen retention. And also, right when I stopped, I was like, I discovered this this investment. And I'll tell you what it is. It's called Xcoin, baby. Xcoin is going, not even to the moon, it's going out of this stratosphere. Because I just made 20000 and I'm, I'm just going to let it ride. I took a couple thousand out. I'm going to let the rest ride. I mean, this is like, this could be the next Pepe, the next Shiba, the next um, Dogecoin. Like, this is like, I've never seen anything like it. The hype behind it, the, the developer, everything is reputable. Everyone is super bullish. So basically I got a loan. I had a couple thousand dollars left in crypto when I moved back here and that was it. So I'm thinking, dang, dude, I don't even know how I used to have a million. Now I only have a couple thousand. Like what's going on, man? It's, it's, I was feeling depressed, like hopeless, but I didn't lose faith. I kept praying to God. I'm like, and eventually I was just like, just take this addiction away. Like, please, like, just help me get over this weed addiction. And so on Monday, I literally stopped smoking. That was when I stopped. And that very day, you can't make this up. That very day is when I discovered this, this investment. I put a, I put a couple thousand in and I got a loan also. I got, I got a loan. And I invested about 5,000 and it literally just, it went up. It's like 25,000. So I made 20,000 in the last three days. Now I'm not saying that to like brag or anything. I'm saying that to help others understand how much money you can make in the crypto markets. Is it risky? <laughs> to me, it's risky to not be invested. Because if I didn't invest, if I was like, uh, I want to be more risk adverse, uh, I'm just, no, that seems risky. I'm not going to do it. I would have just missed out on 20000 And then here's the crazy part. I was going to go all in. I was going to take the other investment I had and just put it all in this one. If I did that, I probably would have made like, like $70,000, $80,000 because it went up like, like 10x. Um... 
4,000, 40,000, went up like 8x, something like that. I don't know. The point is, it's not even, it's just getting started. So I'm basically, I'm good now. I am good now. Um, because I already cashed some out. And as it goes higher, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cash more out. But the point is, this is basically like catching a gem. And here's the thing, why weed plays a factor. 300, like let's say 364 days out of the year, I'm smoking weed. The one day I finally say I'm done, like I'm officially done, I'm not, I'm done. That very day is when it is when I finally have success with crypto. Like I was, I was of the mindset that the weed was basically, it was a curse. It was cursing me because it, it, it made me lose a million dollars to begin with. If I was sober minded and, and diligent and thinking properly, <laughs> obviously I would have, I would have took a quarter million out. I would have took a hundred thousand out, but you smoke and you're in this this fairy tale world of like, oh, I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make a million next month. And you're not even applying the proper, you know, strategies that you should be applying. And I've noticed over the last three days, I've gotten much more articulate. I've gotten much more just smarter. I can read better. For some reason, I thought I could read better when I smoked. I was like, oh, it makes the reading more fun. Dude, I can't read when I'm high. I just, I literally, I would start playing these stupid video games on my phone and then I would be playing YouTube videos in the background and I would try to justify like, oh, like I'm still listening to like educational videos while I'm playing video games. In reality, you don't even retain what the video is saying because you're playing the game. It, it's, and right when I stopped smoking, I stopped playing those stupid games. So I'm telling you, I don't want to hear any dumb potheads trying to justify weed. Now for you, oh, I smoke weed, dude. I don't have withdrawals. I'm not addicted. Whatever. That's good for you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. I just was arguing with this dude on Twitter. I don't know why I get in arguments with dumb people on Twitter, but I was posting about like the marijuana addiction and withdrawals and stuff. He's like, how does that possible? You can't get withdrawals off of weed or whatever. I'm just like, bro, I don't know how you could possibly be that stupid. Like, like if you think that marijuana is not an addiction or you don't have withdrawals from marijuana, when you stop said addiction, you're objectively dumb. So I don't want to hear in the comments, anybody talk about, oh, weed addiction is a real you're just emotional. That's what he was saying. You're emotional. I'm like, what the? You're you're dumb. I just stopped smoking weed and I made twenty thousand. And guess what? It might be a hundred thousand by next week. That is the power of exponential growth with the cryptocurrency markets. This is what I was just telling you guys in a couple videos ago. I'm not working no nine to five ever again. Because if I went and applied for Walmart or McDonald's, $15 an hour, $10 an hour, whatever, it would literally take me a year. It would take me a year to make what I just made in three days. And the crazy thing, I think it's a divine spiritual connection because I was on 150, I'm like approaching 150 days of semen retention. So I'm thinking like, okay, like, like my life has been going down. I'm just like, bro, what's going on? I thought semen retention was supposed to make everything better. The problem was you have to submit fully to God. You can't just get on semen retention and then still be getting drunk and smoking weed and doing drugs. So I think the universe is literally like, yo, we're trying to reward you. God is literally like, I want you to be righteous. I appreciate that you're um, practicing celibacy and not, you know, releasing your, your life force. But you got to stop the weed. The weed is literally, it's limiting the potential of the semen attention that I'm on. So I think it's like, as soon as I fully submit to God it, with righteousness, sober mind, 
and it, physical celibacy and, and purity, practicing purity, your body is a temple. So you practice purity, not only sexually, but also uh, with, with drug use, alcohol, whatever. It's no coincidence. Like, dude, because I was thinking like, I'm like, dang, man, I, I made a come up and it crashed again. I made a come up, it crashed again. I'm just like, dude, why do I keep losing all this money? Why can't it, it would even go like, I would sell a coin, right? And I try to switch it to another one. And then the one I the one I sold, it'd be like the very next day, it would double. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Right when I sold it, it doubles. And then I'll put it in another one and then it drops. And I'm just like, how am I having all this bad luck with, with trading and investing? I believe, and it's more obvious than ever after this, this week, it was because of the weed. The weed will hold you back. Just like fornicating, with random woman, it will hold you back from finding your wife. You will not find a wife if you're out sleeping around with all these, these Jezebels, these random women. You will not find a wife because you attract what you are. If you're not acting like a husband, you're not going to attract a wife. The same is true with your body, your temple. If you're damaging your temple and you're damaging your soul, your spirit, how do you expect good results? By smoking weed, you are objectively damaging your brain cells. And for me, it, it was just, I don't even wanna get into all the negative effects I was having. Um, but, but that's the problem with weed, it's deceptive. It makes you think that you're feeling good. It makes you think, oh, this will solve your anxiety. This will solve your depression. This will solve your boredom. In reality, it just prolongs the, the struggle because then you sober up and you're like, oh man, I'm sober now. I don't have that good feeling. And then you need more weed to have that good feeling again. And then you're not gonna have good luck in the markets in, in financially, romantically, whatever, if you're disobeying God. I was partially obeying God with, with celibacy or whatever, but it was like, you have one foot in, one foot out. It's like you're a hypocrite if you're sitting there getting high every day. And then the moment I stopped getting high, I discovered this coin and I literally, I even told my brother, I said, well, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I haven't had any, like, I've had like the worst luck in the past couple of weeks, but I specifically, I even told him, I said, this is basically my first sober trade. <laughs> All the other trades I was making, I was high and I was making a trade. This is the first trade I made where I was sober. And then I told myself, I was like, all right, let's just, I was basically putting the sobriety to the test. I was like, all right, well, let's see what happens if I'm invested and I just like entered a, a position in this investment Let's see if it pops off now that I'm, I'm committing to being sober. Ah! That's exactly what happened, baby. It was the weed all along that was holding me back. It was the weed all along that was making my cardiovascular, my, my physique it worse. I'm already feeling, I'm eating healthier. I'm, dude, I'm telling you. Now, there's still a couple, like, a little feelings of withdrawals that I got to get over. But, dude, after making the money I've made, after having the realizations I've had, after being able to articulate myself to a much higher degree than I was before, like, when I was smoking, I was just like, oh, well, hey, guys, so, like, like, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, well, I forgot what I was saying. I'd be forgetting what I was saying a couple sentences ago. That's how stupid weed makes you. Now, if you do it once a month or, or something like that, I mean, I'm sure it's not going to have like crazy effects. So don't come in the comment sections, talk about, oh, like this or that. It's I, once again, one, I'm not talking about you. You could have different effects of weed than me. Two, I'm not talking about casual use. I'm talking about heavy use multiple times per day. 
I'm of the mindset, I don't even think it's possible to not get addicted or to not have feelings of withdrawal if you're doing it multiple times a day like I was. The moment I stop, I commit to sobriety, I just made $20,000. The investment, the coin is called X, ticker symbol X. Look it up on Twitter. Um, and it's not even released on a lot of, like it just got released on exchanges. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like we're talking about, like this could be like the inception of a huge investment. And I've already basically made like five, like five or six X. I don't know the exact percentages because I invested at different times, but I'm pretty sure I put like 4,500 in and it was 25,000. And it's only, it's literally just, it keeps going up. Uh, now the mistake I've made in the past is it, <laughs> something just shoots up and I'm just like, oh, it's going to keep going to, straight to a million and I don't cash out. With me, I've already cashed out a couple thousand and as it goes up, I'm just going to take more out. And then that allows me to, to buy a car. I don't have a vehicle. That allows me to help my family get vehicles. That allows me to help my family and, and, and in general, that's what I wanted to do all along is help other people. Um, so as this investment goes up and that's the other thing, Bitcoin's not even taking off yet. So Bitcoin is the main cryptocurrency and it's not even taking off. And this coin is like doing like a hundred X. So it, it's, I just want to, I just want to thank God. I want to praise God for helping me get over this addiction now I'm of the mindset I would literally be I would literally be dumb to get back on that. And I guarantee you, if I'm like, okay, well, we've made some money, let's celebrate, let's get back on weed. I guarantee you the moment I take a puff, the market would crash. It's all spiritual, man. It's all spiritual. And if you fully want to connect to your highest form of consciousness, Obey God, obey Jesus. That is the key to life. The moment I started being righteous, physically on top of like sexually, $20,000 in three days. You can't make that up. You can't make that up. Like I'm good now. I'm literally, I'm good. Cause it's only gonna go up from here. And even if it doesn't, I've already cashed them out. So it's like I'm playing with house money. So it, it's it's a blessing. I think weed was literally weed, I think is the reason I didn't find a wife this whole time is because weed would make me more horny. So I would smoke weed and then I'd be like, oh, let me get on these dating apps or let me hook up and fornicate with women. And it, it's it's just a mess, dude. It's Anything that you do that brings you further from God is objectively not good for you. So therefore, weed's not good for you. It brings you further from God. It's as simple as that. I would smoke and I just wouldn't, I wouldn't pray as much. I would smoke. I literally, I wouldn't like, like there's Instagram DMs. Like my family has a group chat. Like I would just, my DMs, I would just be like, eh, whatever. I'm trying to watch this video and play these games. <laughs> like... It's just literally a, a dummy, a stupid idiot is what I was smoking. Now I already feel exceptionally smarter, exceptionally more wise, in better shape. And then obviously financially, I'm, I'm good. If this coin truly does like really take off, I mean, we're talking, I might make a million from this coin. The moment I stop smoking, that's not a coincidence. <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences. There is no such thing as coincidences. You cannot tell me I've been smoking weed for the past however many years, but let's just use the example I used earlier, 364 days. And the day that I stop, now I just maybe made the best investment of my life. Praise God, man. It's getting hot in here, man. I, I should have turned the fan on. But but uh, yeah, so I'll wrap this up. I got more videos coming. I got higher quality videos coming. Um, and that's the thing about about profits and, and making these, these nice returns in the investment markets. 
it allows me to, to focus on other things because it's passive. I just got to monitor it. But as far as it doing its thing, it's passive. Investing is the number one way to make money that exists because you don't have employees. You yourself don't have to put in like hours of work, of, of labor. It is literally money, making money for you. So I advise everyone to get involved. Um, now, whether you want to buy it after it just did like, like it did like a, I don't know the exact uh, return, but at least like a five or six X since I got in. But even since the inception, it's already like over a hundred X. So you make your own decision if you want to get in at that price. But as far as me, I'm set. And, you know, my personal opinion, it's not my like official advice. I would say get in <laughs> because it's still only 30 million market cap and it's expected to maybe go to 1 billion. So that's like what, like a 30 X or something like that. Just from here, <laughs> it's, it's going to get crazy, man. But I'm sweating. I'm going to get a workout in shower and uh, just keep, keep a lookout on those investments um, and stay sober. Weed is of the devil. It's the devil's lettuce. And I'm sure in moderation, like if you do it just here and there, it's not going to have like crazy bad effects. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to be a righteous man of God. God says to be sober minded and diligent. And that's been my biggest struggle. I've been trying to have one foot in and one foot out. I've been trying to study the Bible, have finances, all this stuff, practice semen retention, practice celibacy, but also, you know, small, you're not diligent when you're high. Anyone who says you can function properly when you're high, they're coping. They're coping. And it's most likely a pothead themselves. <laughs> it, it takes somebody who overcomes the addiction to help others realize you can easily get addicted to that just as I was. So praise God, um, all glory to him. This all happened when I started being more righteous to God the very day. And I think it's only gonna get better from here on out. And I, I got a lot more videos coming. Um, but yeah, research X. We're going to the moon. Let's go!